Welcome to your message. I hope that it finds you well. I'm picking up the spiritual war it has amped up, it is amplified, which means the spiritual attacks will also be amplifying. It's going to be very important for you to stay in your authenticity and for you to protect yourself and your energy. Be aware of specific gifts that you receive, especially if they're out of the blue. Something is displaced. You could have lost something. Something is out of placement. I'm seeing a lot of trash. Yeah, the tower. Mm. This is a spiritual warfare. This is spiritual war. Interesting. You're going to participate consciously. You're going to participate in this spiritual war either way. You will either do it consciously or unconsciously. Regardless, you will participate. And that's not to scare anyone. That's just the reality of what, what this is. Your actions, your decisions, your choices. That will determine whether you're consciously involved or not. Either way, you will be involved, but to be consciously involved is to be aware. It's going to be very important for you to protect your energy at this time. <clears throat> Someone is determined to create stagnation in your life. Someone wants to stop you in your tracks. You have an undeniable energy about you. You're connected to the source. This could be somebody close to you, somebody with hidden motives. You will be seeing this soon or you've already seen it. Your light is different. It's empowering. It helps people come together and rejoice. It brings peace. The lower vibrations, the lower energies in this world want to create restlessness and confusion because of your love, the way that you love, the way that you bring love <clears throat> and empathy to your table, to your throne, the emperor, the king of pinnacles and the devil in reverse. Their, their, their attacks will not work. They will not harm you. You are standing true in your power, in your worth. You see it before it happens. You have detached and you continue to stay detached the more that you stay consciously aware that you're on that throne. There is somebody in your life that is trying to mend things with you, heal things with you. This feels good. This feels safe. Justice. Yes. They will not stop you in your tracks. You will not be stagnated. The magician, justice, six of swords in the reverse. They wanted to create stagnation in your thoughts, in your mind, as you still continue to move forward. You still continue to move forward in your destiny, in your purpose. You have many gifts and many talents. Somebody's getting served karmic justice. The way that they threw spiritual energy and tried to create displacement, it is all coming back to them now. You didn't try to, you didn't ask anybody to, um, you didn't ask anybody to throw that your way. Now they are in a fear mindset, a lack mindset, holding on to everything they have because they feel it slowly falling away. Play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, right? This could be in your community. Something about a community. 
the tower. Their plans have failed. Nine of Wands in the tower. They were persevering, maybe doing this with another. Their plans have failed and now they enter karma. <laughs> Be aware of people that play nice. Have discernment. Your vision is clear. Five of Cups. As they watch you sit on this throne with your confidence and authenticity, they can't help but feel regretful for what they did or what they tried. They also get the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. There was a very greedy spirit wanting to take your prosperity and create that imbalance in your life. That is not something you have to worry about. Keep your intentions, keep your plans, your really personal business to yourself at this time, especially if it's in your family life. Also be aware of family members and the energy that they show up with. Is it authentic? Is it genuine? It's important to be aware of the people around you <clears throat> and their energy levels. It, it will tell you a lot. It will show you a lot. Someone's operating under a false light. Someone's operating out of false abundance. There's a decision coming up in love, maybe in regards to something that you are very close to, but it has become very burdensome. Show me the internal energies that are affecting this at this time. The internal energies, we have the Nine of Swords and the Devil. Some of you feel very bound to something, a repetitive thought cycle pattern. Some of you are not getting enough sleep. Some of you are letting fear creep on the internal. I do see that changing for you though. Show me the external influences affecting this. The moon, secrets, secrets, lies. One more. The Knight of Pentacles. This could be a earth sign. It could be a cancer. Protect your energy. Somebody is trying to make you go slow. Somebody is trying to... Some energy outside of yourself is being deceptive or keeping things hidden from you, trying to create stagnancy and lack. Protect yourself, right? You have a start. These came out together and death. This is all changing for the better. Could be done with an Aquarius or Scorpio, maybe an air sign. Could have any of those in your chart. You're marked for success. You're marked for the spotlight. Your life is changing as we speak. Someone you don't talk to. Someone you've cut off communication with, potentially an ex-lover. Maybe somebody you've been married to. Maybe a family member, a friend, any type of soulmate. Somebody that you were committed to at one point in time. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a spiritual teacher, spiritual leader. Protect your energy. By healing the body. By connecting with nature and by connecting with yourself, your true self, your, in, your inner voice. 
you are going to be very successful. You're going to be very recognized. As I say that the sun, the four pinnacle, the four cups reverse king of swords. You're going to be elevated into a very prosperous opportunities. You have many gifts and talents to share with the world. It's important that you keep persevering at this time. Don't stay the path, stay the path. It's going to be more important now than ever to stay the path. You're being guided. You're being guided into a place where you will be able to give abundantly, receive abundantly. The work that you do, you are masterful at it. Protect your energy. There's external influences here that are playing fake nice. Page of Cups reverse, Three of Cups. I do see you debating on communicating with this energy. Sometimes it's the ones closest to us, the ones we don't want to let go of, that surprisingly have, don't have our best interest at heart. It might be important or wise to take separation or at least create stronger boundaries because I see their impulses or the their ability to keep you attached in this connection, playing with your heart or playing off of your emotions, the pain. They're using something to keep you attached to them. But sometimes we need to detach from those people, regardless of the history that we share with them, because people expose them their true colors eventually. People do. And we have to be wise enough or aware enough to discern what is real and what is fake. Because the devil will wear whatever face the devil needs to wear in order to get what the devil wants. Someone's trying to cut off your connection to your intuition, but you're connected to the source. You're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities at this time. Pay attention to them. Pay attention to your dreams. There's messages in them. Write your dreams down. Intuition. Someone, what is this? Trust. Trust your intuition in regards to everything at this time. There's a community of people here. Mm. They feel threatened by you. It's going to be very important for you right now to let go of things that have been paining you from deep, deep within. It's going to be important for you to have the courage to face those things, address them right now and work on that letting go, letting the grief go. The divine love that surrounds you, it has always been with you. Forgive yourself. Accept this true offering of love from the divine. Stay in your worth. Stay in your power, right? They want you to feel worthless. They want you to feel lost. They want you to feel like you can't trust your own judgment. You were the sacrifice that was never going to happen. That was delusional. Change delusion in the reverse. Everything's changing because you're awakening. You're hitting another level within your awakening. Let it flow. Let it flow and let it go. Wholeness. You are whole. You've always been whole. You've always been full full of love and now the alchemical force within you, the alchemical intelligence, right, is being revived, revitalized, renewed within your spirit. Your gifts are going to start enhancing. Same as the spiritual war starts amping up and the attacks amp up, so do you. So does the love you have. So does your desire to understand yourself more. 
it all increases. And when you choose to consciously understand yourself, consciously participate in the game of love, because that's what this all is, really. When you choose to do that, when you choose to love yourself, your gifts will follow. They will increase, they will enhance, they will deepen. They will become more powerful so that you can play your role to a higher degree. The blessings that they wanted to stop from coming to you, these blessings are on the way and they're coming soon. It's going to be important to stay the course, stay the path, stay dedicated to your path. Nobody knows your path. You know your path. You know the light you bring. You know the love you bring. Believe in it. Have faith. Trust. Trust in that source. It's within us all. Some people just have a distorted version of it and what it means to be divine. Live through your light, live through your love, and know that you're very protected. But consciously take action to protect yourself as well. This has been your channeled message. Thank you. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to my channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. See you soon.